I didn't film it, but I took the starter out of the street sweeper that uh, the landlord has. The starter was broken on the back side. If you guys know what a starter looks like, um, some of them have like a plastic housing the bolts go to. The whole plastic housing on the back broke off because it wasn't starting and he was hitting it with a hammer and then broke the plastic. So yeah, he got it rebuilt. It's outside, I'll show you it. I'm just grabbing some tools. Um, and I got to rewire it and all that fun stuff. So I guess this video will be about me installing a starter on a street sweeper. And then maybe I'll drive it around. I've never driven the thing. He isn't here at the moment. So if I get it started, he can't tell me not to drive it around. So maybe we'll drive around and sweep up a little snow. Cause it's a, it's like, you know, a dusting outside, but, um, yeah. So that's what we're doing. All right. So this here is the street sweeper old tenant just the fucking starter dude this thing weighs at least 50 pounds and it goes in there and this is a really shitty fucking thing to do but whatever making some side money is what it is easy little starter but um one of the wires broke off so i gotta put this on so i gotta get back up in here and pull the wire out and crimp it on. And that should be fun. All right, so I got the starter in right here. Um, it's very fucking heavy and it wants to pitch back. So I'm trying to figure out a way to hold it up to be able to put the bolt in. And as you can see, I can't really stick two fucking arms in there to hold it and put a bolt in. So I gotta get a little creative here. All right, the starter is fully connected. All the wires are going to it. I'm gonna connect the ground. And I'm just gonna blip it just to see if it does work. <laughs> Works fucking mint. Perfect. All right, I'm gonna finish putting all this back together. I gotta put uh, this piece back in over here, push that back over, all that fun stuff. But sweet, it starts. Well cranks we'll see if it starts i have no clue how to fucking use this thing at all so uh hopefully we don't go fucking barreling into nothing let's crank it up god i'm scared Oh, that's fucking pretty nice, huh? Let's fix that. Huh? Oh, yeah. Look at that. Fucking. All right. Let's try this again. Uh... quite know what this switch does but I forgot to put it back on. There's one that goes right through here. So. Yeah, let me put that back on real quick. Alright, so I'm gonna flip it on. Okay, never mind. That is for this fan right here. So that was nothing. Jesus Christ, that's loud as fuck. It says the fuel is full, oil pressure at nothing, amperage good. I don't fucking know. Free float, raised position. <laughs> signal, dude? This thing's got fucking turn signals. On, off. I don't know if this fucking thing has a choke or something. So I figured out that this is the choke. And... It starts right up. Okay, well, maybe we'll leave the choke on. 
This thing's fucking shot. Holy fuck. Ripper though, the old Tenant Model 92. Thing's a rig. It's got the Mercedes badge. Thing's sick. See if you can say it. Go ahead, yeah. Well, I don't, I didn't know what any of these did. Oh, I see. <laughs> And this thing's loud as fuck. It is, I know. Does the brake work? No. Where it went through. The WRX, I gotta do an oil change on. So I pulled it in, got the oil, got the oil filter, and I'm gonna do that. Gotta keep up on the maintenance on the actual car that's supposed to be reliable, even though it's a Subaru. Um, you know, hopefully this keeps it alive for a little bit longer. Oh, 
Oh my goodness. Got a fucking leaf. Yeah, nice and easy. Oil filter right up top. If I can fucking get it. Well, been going to the gym, you know, fucking yoked. Oil filter off, black as fuck. Not good. It is so weird looking at a turbo Subaru and having this much room on the side where the turbo should be. Um, very weird. So oil change is done, new filter, oil in. I went to Subaru and I got a new crush washer for the drain plug because I reused it once and I just wanted to get a new one. It was $5 for three. So I just bought three because I'm gonna be doing them anyways. Um, and they're good to change. But, you know, I'm just gonna go take it for a cruise. I gotta go to the gas station real quick. And then, yeah, I wanna do some things on the E30, but I'm not sure if I'm gonna do that today or not. But yeah, oil change done. I'm glad I did that. I wanted to do it last weekend, but I got lazy and today I had some spare time. I got the starter in the fucking tenant thing, the street sweeper, and then I did the oil change on this. So all in all, today was a pretty successful day and I did a bunch of shit. Hear me out, hear me out. Take the six liter out of this, put it in the 240, put the KA in this. Oh, and dude. And this will be the most reliable daily ever. <laughs> and I'll be the sickest. <laughs> what do you think? Yeah, let's see. Fucking pop the six liter in the 240, put the KA in this. Yeah, pop the hood. Let's see if the KA will fit. This thing will come out. It might be a tight squeeze. Okay, oh, he ain't fitting, dude. Yeah, I don't know, man. Imagine just popping the hood as like a KA, like all the way down there. <laughs> oh, my repair is still holding. Oh, for your coolant lines? Yeah, so when that went out, I had this still bent over to here, so whenever I would stop, coolant would come up out of here and it would hit the manifold and it would fuck. What the fuck is that? Those are to the rear lines. There's, there's a core in the rear. So those aluminum lines along with the AC lines run all along the side of the frame all the way. So what does this go to? That would go, this would go on there and then the line would go into there and it would just intercept it. Mm. So where does the, the line that's connected to that go to? It doesn't have any coolant in it? Yeah, the, the one going down. That goes, it runs all along the side here, it goes up over the wheel and it goes to the, um, the core back here, which... I started what the fuck is that for? The rear heat. Yeah, the rear heat. But I came outside after starting what? it, and fucking coolant was just pouring out of there. And I thought, like, it was a head gasket <laughs> at first, because I thought it was coming right out From of the tail, yeah. Yeah, I was like, I was like, I don't fucking need this right now. <laughs> and then I looked up and saw it was that, and then I had to do my little fix for it. So the rear heat has its own heater core? Yeah, it has, like, yeah. A, another heater box back there. What the, the fuck? AC goes back there, too, right? Yep. That's pretty ganj. Yeah, I remember working on them all the time, so this is my fix. Oh, is this the other part of it right here? Yeah, that's like the return part of it. That's weird. It's got two fucking heater cores. Dude, I'm saying we do it. Man. I like your mid clamp here. Yeah, I thought that, <laughs> so I like left that on there and then I was like, I'm not gonna take it back. <laughs> Dude, I don't know, man, we got welders. I think we could make this thing work, man. Make it work. Auto K. K but not the rear. You could put I'm the, saying, man. Put it in the back. This is what a six O. Yeah. Oh, this is a good motor, dude. Yeah, I think it's the. Uh, it's got a new supercharger. Is it? Actually, actually, wait. Six liter diesel. LQ four. Yeah. The LS, dude. What are you doing to this thing? What am I? This. Is potentially gonna be the drift rig, or not drift rig, the drift hauling rig. <laughs> no, like as of right now, what are you doing? Oh, oh. Shit. <laughs> I thought you were talking about future plans. Can we fill this with air with like a air pump, like a tire pump? Yeah, that's what <laughs> that's what you have to do because um, it's a six O, so you have to put six liters of air in there. Oh, it fills okay. up. 
You know when it's ready. This is, when this you're... is like the carburetor top plate, right? You gotta like. Hey, yeah, yeah, where's your air filter? That's the block off plate for. Okay. <laughs> uh, my what? What are you fucking doing? Oh, thing? so today, um, I'm doing a exhaust manifold gasket. Are you fucking serious? No. Oh, <laughs> I was gonna say why. What do you mean why? Don't you hear it ticking? What? Don't you hear it ticking? You want You're not about to do a head uh, fucking header gasket. Yeah, why not? Are you really? Yeah, why not? <laughs> what the fuck? You make it seem like it's a big job. I mean, I guess not on this. I know on Fords, they fucking just snap every goddamn bolt. Well, the bolts on here, I didn't put lock washers with a paper gasket, so it fucking... Oh, so you've already done them. Oh, yeah. yeah, I've already done them. Oh, okay. I actually did manifolds on this thing. Mm -hmm. Oh. But, um, you yeah, stick your welder in there. I just you know that V8 manifolds don't usually like to, uh, come out. The bolts? Yeah, they either snap or... Yeah, uh, I think these ones should be good because I did this last year. Um, I think should be fine. Yeah. But they loosen... I thought you were fucking kidding. I thought you said you were doing something with a diff. Yeah, I said the diff and then the exhaust manifold gasket. <laughs> Jesus Christ. You want to watch me do the other thing first? No, I don't give a fuck. I'm probably not going to stand here the whole time while you do this. But it doesn't, actually, now that I'm looking at it, it doesn't look that bad. There's only... And no, it's leaking three, from back there. Three, six yeah, bolts? GMC Giga Mousecraft. You kind of just got to pull it out a little bit, throw a gasket in, and throw it back together. Yeah, that's what... Um, Should you warm it up do. first? Maybe fucking set unlimited for a little bit? I drove here. <laughs> no, you, you have to do it when it's ice cold. <laughs> 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 Well, don't touch a manifold when it's hot because you'll fucking burn your hand off. <laughs> All right. Well, good luck with that, Jazzy. All right. I'll see you guys next year. <laughs> see, it was ticking and I didn't really like know it because like if it's lightly going and you're driving, you you don't hear it. You didn't even change the exhaust gasket. I did before, but... Um, yeah, well, where are they now? It was a, in the garbage. garbage. Yeah, it's in the garbage. <laughs> <laughs> they look good. No, this is... This I unbolted the manifold and pulled the, the, this off. This is how it looked. That's <laughs> <laughs> pretty good. That's why it was leaking. What the fuck, bro? They were just clamped down there like that. <laughs> why? <laughs> no, but the bolts loosened up, and I didn't hear it at first, and then I heard it, and then I was being lazy about it, and then it burned the paper off, <laughs> and then I tightened them. And it was okay, and then they loosened back up, and I said, fuck it. So, so I just put new ones. New, new paper ones, so I can do it again. Oh, my God. <laughs> but, hey, you bought, so you got two now. Yeah, I got If you're not doing the other side, you could just keep redoing this side. I feel like I heard the other side. Take, it's probably fine. I, it might have just been. Rubber heads. Hopefully these are right. Spray it with WD-40. Wait, is Right, the WD-40? Yeah. It's gonna stink. Is that the right one? Oh, it even tells you which way it goes down. No, it's not. <laughs> Fuck, they put the hole all the way up there and I have to cut all the way through there so I can just drop it in. Because <laughs> I have a feeling if I take that bolt out, it's gonna be a bitch to get the fucking thing lined back up. Getting rid of exhaust ticks is like super satisfying. Getting rid of exhaust is like it sounded like street blown up. Yeah. I actually thought it was like blown up. I like <laughs> it needed kind a turbo of is. or something. Yes, it sounded like this. I should put some turbos on this side over here. That'd be kind of cool. No, K8. I'm telling you, you swap that with the K8, man. What are you, you're ruining the brand new one? I got two. <laughs> That's why I fucking blew it. being lazy. <laughs> You're fucked. I doubt it. <laughs> it's like there's no gasket at all now. Uh, I just got the exhaust manifold gasket in there. I put some lock washers on the bolts. Except for the one that you didn't take out? Yeah. Why don't you just take it out now and put one on? Uh, as you can see, shiny gasket, so we're praying for no tick. But I swear I heard this. 
<coughs> start it up. It'll be fine. Let me, let me. Schmeedy. <laughs> just start it up. I'll just put the old one back in. Oh. I like your ground right there. <laughs> Does nothing. This one? The one right above it. Oh, this? Oh, yeah, I think that one went to the hood. Who the fuck was that? <laughs> I think it's where if it gets hit by the hood. Yo, it's taking, dude. <laughs> That's sweet. Yeah, sounds good. Here, here, here. No. If you do a little brake stand action, do I put a little load on it? I might pop the oh. <laughs> might pop a brake line, too. Yeah. <laughs> These brake lines literally look like brand new. Really? That's good. I think somebody like got them from the So now all you gotta do is the dip fluid you wanted to do? Yeah, the front dip fluid. Cause this thing's been whining a little bit lately. And last time I checked it, the fluid didn't look too good. So I kinda wanna change it. So. That's a good idea.